Hey, Crunchy, I'm welcome back to Coop. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, I got it. Take 260. Hey Crunchy Man, welcome back. It's Coco DIYs, bringing you the best tips, tricks, and tutorials to make having fun affordable. And in today's video, we are assembling a balloon column. So the first thing we're gonna do is assemble the stand. Then we are going to uh, do a review of the balloon sizer that I purchased from Amazon. And then we are going to build our balloon column. There really is no color scheme to this. Um, I just wanted to bring you guys um, I mean, it is the colors match. So, um, if you really want to know what colors I'm using, check the description box below, but there really is no theme to this. We're just using two colors so you can understand how to construct and assemble a balloon column and how to properly use your balloon sizer. So if you are ready to get into it and get crafty. Okay, so next we are going to use our balloon sizer. Now this balloon sizer is a cube. It's made out of um, a thin wood, kind of like particle board. And it has, um, has several different sizes on here. So it'll have the size next to each hole. And that lets you know um, when you are using that particular circle what size your balloon is going to be if you use it properly. So on this side it has four, and there's one on this side, one on this side, and then on the back side it's single, and then on this side it's single. So it goes up to, goes up to 10, so 10 inches. So it goes, it ranges from two all the way to 10 inches. Um, in diameter of balloons. So you can size up to a 10 inch balloon with this. They also have, you know, pop-up ones, plastic ones, um, silicone work ones. So um, this is the one I use and I actually already pre-assembled this in my live that I did a couple weeks ago, but it's basically just uh, the, it's just like a puzzle piece. Like all the pieces are, cut to a certain size and it doesn't really matter which um, size you put in where it's just you're going to use the teeth to go into each side and then to secure it there's like this little tiny rubber band right here that keeps the um, bottom piece from slipping off so we're going to use the balloon sizer and size all of our balloons I would say I don't want to use, I don't want to go too big with this. So I think I'm going to size them all, um, all the five inch down to four. Okay. And then I'm going to size all the, all of the, I think I have nine inch, let's either nine and 10, um, all those down to about six or seven. I haven't decided yet, but just to show you guys pretty basic instructions. So we're gonna inflate our balloons, we're gonna size them down, and then after that we are going to um, add our balloons to our stand. Okay, so moving on to our 12 inch. Our 12 inch we're gonna use, actually use the electric balloon pump, and we're gonna size our 12 inch down to about seven inches. So um, let's see. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna have this, normally I would have it on the side, but I'm gonna have the hole for the seven inch on top so you guys can actually see. Um, so let me blow these up. One moment. So we have our balloons, two seconds on the pump pretty significantly. So like we did push and release, right? So we're pushing, pushing. This is actually right now about nine inches. The 12 inch is actually nine inches in size. So we're just gonna push down and release. And the 
closer you get to the side the size of the hole you really want to kind of start to slow down your release to make sure that you don't misjudge the size um, if you had a precision air filler which is one of those where you just you press the number of size that you need and then it fills it with the right amount of air so if you had one of those you wouldn't be doing this but I can't afford one of those right now. Um, so and then we got there boom and then same thing with this one so just release push and release we're getting closer so we'll slow down okay and then you always want to press your balloons against the surface kind of round them out a little bit and then again tying your shoes x cross and then uh, they're crisscross into that And then um, another tip I wanted to show you guys is that Another tip I want to show you guys is when you are doing your balloon columns, the way you attach them to the, be mindful of how you're going to attach them to the stand. Because um, if you tie the next two close to the base, like too close to this part right here, the bottom, then there's not going to be a lot of give. So when you're attaching them, it's going to involve a lot of twisting. And the more twisting you do, the more um, friction and then the balloons will want to pop or raise up on your stand. So when you are tying them together, you want to kind of give them a little space, either tie them, cross them halfway, or cross them more near the mouth of the balloon. So then that way you have a little more give um, because all the twisting that you're gonna do to adhere them to the stand is not going to be helpful. So space right there. But what you want to do, if you're using more, two or more colors, you want to understand how to make your pattern. So when you're using two or more colors, you are, let's say you're just using two, two colors like I am today. You're gonna still crisscross like you would if you were, um, if you were making a garland, but before you cross it a second time, you're just gonna crisscross and have the opening of those crisscross, of that crisscross go around your base and then once you do that I like to press down on where my um, my necks are joining and then since these two on this side are where the opening is where the where the base where the sand slid into the quad I'm going to twist one time around that so we're gonna twist green and yellow and then we're gonna twist one more time the green and yellow so then our pattern of alternating colors stays the same and you just want to push at every level you just want to push down in the middle push your neck down in the middle so then that way your um, column is less likely to uh, rise up so we're going to do that again and we're using our um, larger balloons that we blew up and measured to seven inches and we're just going to cross them right and what you want to do is if you want the green to end up here you're going to start with green there 
okay? So, we have green, green on top of green, but since we want to, uh, since we want this to kind of swirl, we are going to cat a corner our balloons. So instead of the colors being on top of each other like this, they're actually gonna be nestled in the middle where the little crease is. And then you're going to, again, this is the side right here where the opening is, where we put our stand into the quad. And we're just gonna stretch it out, crisscross that one time, and then crisscross that one more time to get the green back to where it was. And with our five inch, I'm gonna use the hand pump um, just for the demonstration part. So, um, started wrong. <laughs> so we're gonna go one, two, three pumps. And that gets us to about, so this is the four inch. So three pumps gets us a little over four inches. So. We're just gonna slowly release. And as you release, you wanna push forward. So once it's able to go through smoothly, that's your side. So what I do is I like to do two at a time. So. Three. Okay, and then we'll do the same. So this is still four. I'll do the same thing. It's over four inches, but I'm going to slowly release until it goes through. And then now that I have two of the same size, I need to kind of put them together, eyeball it. Now that I have two of the same size, we're going to cross. And just like you're tying your shoes, hopefully, I think people still tie the shoes. Um, and then you have these. cover your top whatever the top is if it's metal plastic doesn't really matter you want to cover that with another balloon again for the same reasons that you do the friction so you want to open your open your balloon and then place it over the top of your stand hold um, one, it creates friction, so it keeps these top balloons down. And then two, um, when you tie on your final balloon, your topper, whether it's mylar or whatever, um, you tie it down, but it's going to, um, it's gonna stay a lot better. 
Okay, for our final step, we are going to add our large balloon to the top. Now, this is not the typical size that you would use. I, this is a 16 inch balloon, but I suggest using at least 20 and above. Um, Cause this is 16 inch and it looks kind of weird on top, but it's just so you guys get the concept. So you're gonna blow up your balloon, your largest balloon that's your topper balloon, blow it up, whether it's mylar or latex, you're gonna blow it up. You're gonna tie it, okay. Now, if it's latex, you may have a lot of give on the neck. If it's not latex and it's a mylar balloon, what I suggest you doing, I suggest you do is, oops, what I suggest you do is get a 260 and cut it in half, okay, to use as your anchor. So you're gonna double tie this down. Right. Double tie this like that. One end, and then double tie it. Other. Okay. With mylar, this works a little better, but this is just for example purposes. Let's put this back, and then for. Okay, so now you have your 260 tied and you have these anchor sides. So what you wanna do is find the center of your pole, place your, your large balloon, mylar or otherwise on top. And on one end, you're going to do a little figure eight, bring it back to the middle. Tie it to the other anchor. Okay. Tie it to the other anchor in a knot. And then and then with this anchor, you're gonna do the same thing. Pull it out, down and around in the figure eight. back to the middle and then tie it off and so doing that secures it to all your other balloons which are secured to your stand and then you have this so okay so you kind of see it in there there's like the 260 all tied in and you can't tell and you can add maybe like uh, some little balloons right here or some accents right here to cover up the holes or even another level of um, balloons, but that's, that's how you would do that. So hopefully you guys um, like this video. I wanted to make it as clear and concise as, yeah, I wanted to make it as clear and concise as possible. I didn't want to spend too much time on, um, hot, oh my God. Um, I didn't want to spend too much time, um, you know, um, I don't want to spend too much time on the coloring and the styling of it all. Um, I really just wanted to, one, use the balloons that I had and also show you guys um, the basic basics of making a balloon column. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button and um, hopefully in the next video, I had a request for a hot air balloon. Mm, and that sounds pretty awesome. So I am going to write up that. But in the meantime, you guys go ahead and comment and check out the next video. And I will see you guys next time. Stay crafty.